So hello and welcome to this special Q&A at home in Manchester with the cast of Rocks, a wonderful new movie. Um, don't want to give too much away before um, we start our Q&A, but we have seven members of the cast here with us. So um, I want them to say hi to you all. Hello. <laughs> So, uh, Rocks is a movie that uh, is about a young schoolgirl called Rocks and her younger brother who are going through things in their life um, and she has a great circle of friends around her and it explores um, her life at home and at school and all that she's going through. Um, and so, Bucky, you play Rocks. Can you just tell me a little bit about your character and, and what she's going through? So Rox, um, essentially she's a young, charismatic teenager from East London. Um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but she just goes through what I would describe as a triumph um, and a struggle, like a, um, a struggle. And she's just trying to do her best to um, make the best out of this situation. And um, Kasa, you are her best friend, is that right, in the, in the film? And what's, what is your relationship like with her? Because I feel that it's sometimes you're pushing her to um, understand what's going, what, you know, what life's like and, and what she should be doing to make her life better. But how would you describe your relationship with Rox? Um, I think Samir's relationship with Rox is just pure love in its truest form, to be honest, because Samir is very, uh, she's a very caring person, um, especially towards Rox, a bit overprotective at times, um, and she wants what's best for her. So her relationship with Rox is just, I feel like it's just beautiful. They're just, they're just true sisters. And it really feels like with the two of you that it is just like being back at school when your friend's saying to you, you know, this is how it should be. Or when they come to kind of like help you out, um, you're just like being really clear and honest with her. So did it feel very like true to real life and the friendship that you have on screen? Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and um, in terms of the people that you're involved with um, uh, and, and you're at school with, there's like kind of a, that again is that real thing of what you go through with school, with the trials and tribulations. And you're trying to pretend, aren't you, as well, when you're playing um, Rocks, Bucky, that you, you want to put on a pretense because you don't want people to know that your mum's kind of not around. So just give people a little bit of insight into what's happened at the beginning of the film because you've got, you, you have a beautiful little brother and uh, your mum disappears, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. She just goes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Rox is living her um, normal but commas teenage life and her mom suddenly just leaves and she leaves a note and now um rox is trying to navigate herself around life and she's really trying to avoid the care system for her and her little brother um although she has a really good friendship with her friends um yara khadija sabina everyone agnes um she doesn't want to tell them I think that just stems from Rox not wanting any pity. So that's why she puts up that strong facade. Because no one ever wants to feel like, feel sorry. No one ever wants to feel like they're being felt sorry for, sorry. And you just want to live kind of like your, you want to enjoy yourself, but you've got your little brother to look after. What was D'Angelo like who plays uh, Emmanuel? Because he's such a good little actor, isn't he? Yeah, he's absolutely amazing. He's, um, he was just such a charismatic, joyful, um, he was like a bolt of light on set. He was, he was so cool to be around. I mean, at times it was hard, long hours, seven year old, but he, all, he always did the right thing in the end. And he always had the most amazing um, performances. 
And I want to ask uh, some of the other cast members about what it was like, because it feels like it was a very collaborative process being in this film. And so, Anastasia, what was it like for you? Because, you know, like many of the other members, it's your first acting role, but it felt like you were able to give yourself an input into the script. So um, obviously we had the writer's room where we sort of got to uh, decide what personality aspects our characters had. Um, and also in regards of friendship with all the other cast members, we had lots of workshops and stuff. So we all sort of built a bond. And even with like Sarah, Claire, Lucy, they sort of gave us, um, and Teresa, they sort of gave us a freedom to decide what, will be included in the film whether we liked the scene or whether we didn't we saw we had that sort of input and that freedom was it a scary thing or did it feel kind of like it was it an exciting and an exciting thing for you all to do because um you know you're on a film set for the first time in your life Am I, yeah, am I yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. um yeah it was it was a bit scary because um i've sort of never imagined to be placed there. I've always watched like bloopers or behind the scenes of other shows that I like, but I've never imagined that, oh, I'm going to be on set. I'm going to have a camera pointed at me, etc. So it was sort of a bit, it was something different, but I wouldn't change it for anything. And I'm going to go to you, Abby. Abby, how did you find being on the set um, with all these like wonderful uh, young women and being directed by a female director too, Sarah Gavron? How was it for you? Um, it was amazing because we had people to look up to because we are um, we were like thirteen, fourteen, I think. So we had um, people to look up to, and like if we wanted to work behind the screen and be a director or uh, a sound um, thingy, mababa, like <laughs> we had females who you know could um, represent and being influencers um, for us, which was very important to have because most um, um, most films have a uh, mostly male um, team. With this one, we had females, so we were like surrounded by mothers. It was just a nice and beautiful vibe. Um, so that was like, yeah, cool. And um, you know, the subject matter doesn't often make its film, you know, like real life, subject matter, what it's like to be at school, what it's like um, to struggle at home, all of those things. So was that a really positive thing for you to be involved with, the fact that it was something that reflected the life of, of people that you were living amongst? 100%. It was like, at first, like when we were filming vlogs, I wasn't really thinking about that. I was just being in the moment. I was just like, I'm doing this for fun. I'm I'm about to chill, not chill. I'm about to work. Like it felt like it didn't feel like work. I was with my friends and we had this connection, so it didn't really feel like work. Um, but until like afterwards, when we started going to festivals and stuff, and I we I watched Rocks for the first time, and all these questions started coming into my head. I was like, wow, like we're really represent representing a different narrative of teenage girls and I feel like in when it comes to movies especially about females it's more it's like it's about guys and stuff whereas this one was showing a different narrative about how it's like for teenage teenage girls and oops sorry my room flew um and how it is for um young people because sometimes like we go through things and I feel like um adults assume like we have it easy which we slightly have it easy just a little <laughs> um but there's more to it. We there's so much things that teenage girls suffer with. Um, so I feel like it was amazing um, to be a part of that and tell a different story. So I feel like, yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> Ruby, um, come to you as well. It's the the cast um, of Rocks is great because it reflects people of different backgrounds, and again, that's something that often we don't see enough of. Were you um, pleased at the diversity that it showed um, that, you, that you got to see on screen and behind the camera in Rocks? Sorry, I'll unmute myself. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I think um, as well, like 
I remember when we went to TIFF and um, someone was like, oh, like, Kosa, I'm so happy that, like, there's Somali heritage on screen and stuff. And I think I remember being stood there like, that is so important that there is diversity on screen and especially like on screen, but also it's reflected off screen as well. And I think in rocks, it really was because um, like, like it, it's on screen, but then within the crew as well. And I think that's really important. Um, yeah, definitely. And also the narrative, um, like Bucky was, Bucky was the lead and she was like telling the narrative as well, the story. And it's, yeah, I think that's very important. We know somebody that works in TV a lot, and that I think this is, you know, very unusual that you've got a, a cast that feels naturally uh, like diverse. It doesn't feel forced, and like you say, there's, you, there's women behind the camera. And I just can't remember a time where <laughs> I've ever kind of like seen or heard that before. Mm. So you're all kind of pioneers, I think. You're all, you know, it's all kind of a, you know, you're all doing great things for 2020 because it's something that uh, the film industry and TV industry should look to, I think, because you come up with a great film. Uh, Teresa, I want to come to you. Um, um, hello. Hi. Hi. So I just want to ask you, um, in terms of taking part in the film, how did your family um, and friends feel about you becoming involved in rocks? Because um, it's not a, kind of like um, a, like a twee kind of like oh, no. it's hard hitting, isn't it? Yeah. Well, initially, when I first um, started coming to the workshops, I was really nervous, like myself. And I told my I spoke to my dad and my older sister, and I was like, I'm not too sure about this. I don't want to go to this. I'm scared. And then my dad and my older sister kind of spoke to me and were like, you know what, go there, see if you like it. And if you don't, you can obviously withdraw. And I was like, okay. And then they really supported me. And I was so happy to receive that home support. And then when I went and I met the girls, the vibe was just so amazing. And I wouldn't change it for the world because honestly, these girls have changed my life. I've learned so much, not only from the girls, but about from the... Um, director and the and the like other people and the crew and everyone and honestly like I'm so happy that I had that support from home because like a lot of a lot of Asian cultured families and a lot of Asian background families people people wouldn't really like I don't know it's hard to say but people wouldn't really approve of this kind of thing and like going into a movie and especially because I'm a hijabi it's a bit different and I'm so happy that I could be part of such an amazing film that really promotes like female empowerment and therefore like my parents were so so supportive and yeah my family were really happy. I mean that's great um, because as you say it's not always um, something that's kind of open to people from Asian and also African and Caribbean cultures like these studies you know, be an accountant, yeah. be a doctor, <laughs> don't go to acting, or if you do an acting, it's a hobby, and you you are able to shine in this film, and also talk about something that's real, that people can identify with, and people your age can identify with. Definitely, definitely, and it really, really shows, like, the true meaning of like growing up in London and all the struggles and trials and tribulations and mm -hmm. this film is just so pure and the intention behind it is so pure and everyone that was a part of it I can say wholeheartedly was so pure and I just love the film I can't wait for it to come out. And Shaniga as well, um, hello. Hi. Hi, so um you know, Tamida was just talking there about um, how you all got on so well in the film and your friends for life. Uh, what, what was it that was so special about you all coming together? Was it the fact that you were able to work on the script together? Was it the fact that you could identify with what you were talking about and acting about? What was it for you? So obviously on the film, me and the um, girls, well, I was obviously in the girls group, but what was good on the outside of the girls, like, on the outside of the film, we, we was all so close. Um, and I just think that was, yeah, I just think that was good and 
I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, like, just to, like, because I remember Shana having a conversation with Shania, and I think Shania, like, mentioned how much she wanted to represent Nottingham. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nottingham in particular. And I feel like those, Nottingham, Nottingham's in the Midlands, right? It is, yeah. Yeah. I feel like, <laughs> you know, yeah, I feel like we don't, we don't really see young women from, from the Midlands um, and from other parts of London um, when you, when you want to talk about, um, like, British um, independent, film. independent film. It's always, if, if, if it's coming from Nottingham, it's always like a, like a gloomy sort of narrative, gritty. gritty narrative and I feel like Shania has beautifully um, depicted a young um, woman from Nottingham in a in a very like beautiful light no matter if Shania was a bit of, um, interesting a, of an interesting character I feel like she played her character really well yeah so yeah thank you for that and I said your name wrong Shania sorry about that one, right, part, right. one, one, one part of the film that I love Particularly, it's a bit of a you know a spoiler alert, but um, is that when you all club together so that Rox can go to Hastings, and I thought that just shows kind of like real friendship, and it was really empowering. What was it like um, when you you filmed the scene? But what was it like when you watched that scene back, and and also saw people's reactions when you've been going around festivals? I think it was real. Like I remember coming back from. I'm not sure whether it was a workshop or something to do with rocks. I was walking home with Anastasia because we lived close to each other. And I can't lie to you, girl, I didn't have any change. And Anastasia just gave me like two pounds. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I promise you I'm going to give it back to you. I knew I was never going to give it back. But she was like, <laughs> she was like, don't worry about it, Bookie. And that's literally in the film. Um, yeah. Rox said I'm borrowing money, but she Rox was never gonna give it back. <laughs> and I feel like all of these wonderful ladies, if I was ever in that sort of predicament, they would be there for me to give me ten pounds, to give me fifty pounds, to give me any amount of money they could. Yeah. That's what I love about that that part of the film because the bit of time since I went to school, but that is just like say you would always say to a friend, "Please, I need some money to get home," and you just knew that maybe you know your parents couldn't afford to give it, or you were too frightened to tell your parents that you'd borrowed money off one of your friends. And so I just love the fact that they all, even though they've got different things that they need their money for, they all kind of like chip in. It's so real, isn't it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> and um, just to say that I know that um, COVID's happening, so. You were originally hoping for this kind of like big launch. Um, we're coming out of it now. Do you still do you still want people to sit in a cinema and watch it, or do you are you happy if people watch it and they're just kind of like paid from home? I'm just interesting. I mean, I know we're showing this at home, but how do you want people to see it? Really, because you've you've got a vision of you know you've been in a film and you you you've dreamed I... your dreams of how people are going to watch this. I feel like whatever medium it's seen in, um, is that the right word? Yeah, I feel like whatever medium it's seen in, it will um, have the same impact on people, whether they're sat at home or they're sat in a cinema. I feel like it's such an empowering and brilliant film. The story is so brilliant that people walk away from wherever they were with the same feeling and that same feeling in their gut. so yeah, I feel like wherever it, wherever someone sees it, they will take away the same story from it, whether they were sat in a cinema or not. And I want to ask you all, you know, do you think that you will um, stay in film? Has it given you the bug to actually kind of continue with acting or, you know, maybe, you know, you all had input into film, maybe with writing. How do you all feel about that? Um, Go to um, Anastasia. Um, so obviously I'd love to stay in acting because it's, it, it was an amazing experience. Um, but also I'm quite of a person that doesn't sort of put their mind to one thing. So I'm more of a like wherever the wind takes me sort of person. Um, if acting did come my way, then I wouldn't complain. Um, yeah, I definitely want to do more acting. 
um even like before rocks it was always um on my list of goals i just didn't think i'd like do it like this early I, it was came very unexpected but i definitely want to do more acting probably write and direct a few things and hopefully be in a musical one day yes I yeah, can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting up here. Yeah, <laughs> but definitely. And if you, you know. Um, but yeah. I, yeah, I definitely want to do those things. Um, yeah. And uh, Koza, how about you? Um, yeah, just adding on to like what everyone said. Um, definitely carrying on acting. I've um, been writing a few short films, so mm -hmm. hopefully direct that one day. Um, and yeah, just see where the industry takes me, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to um, continue with acting. Um, just one thing I want to say, like, one of, the, one of the things that makes the whole, like, process of rock so beautiful is that we were able to experience um, we saw successful brown women, we saw successful women, mm -hmm. uh, period. And I think that is, that's what's inspiring. And whatever, um, whatever um, like, end any of these girls um, like storm into, I feel like they will excel there because the fact that we've seen such wonderful um, intellectual women um, in an industry like this, that's really tough. I feel like it's inspired me to do whatever, whether it's writing or something that's mm -hmm. more down the entrepreneurial or like just anything. Just it's just it's just really like installed in my mind that your options has are endless as long as you put your mind to something. But yeah, just to put things short, I really wanna um, <laughs> I really wanna ask. It's, it's amazing, yeah. And I think that seeing you all on screen will inspire so many other people who want to do that and kind of like follow through as well because um, people can see themselves kind of in you and just know that you can talk about real kind of like life stories but fictionalise them and they can see a range of black and brown faces and also there's, and there's, and there's white women, there's women on screen all together and it can work. You don't have to all be put in a box. Exactly. Take you out of a box, you know, and you're, you're just there to tell your story. And I think that's really important. Um, so I think I have to um, salute you all for, for being brave to kind of like dip your toe into the acting world and um, you and working with a great team. So thank you. And thank you all for yeah, taking the time. Thanks thanks for having having us. Us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.